بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی آر اسٹڈنگ قرآن کی اسٹڈیز آف آل عمران وچ از دا مین ٹاپک آف دس فائنل ٹیسٹامنٹ ٹو کرسچنس پلس مسلمس فار دیئر پرسنالٹی ڈیولپمنٹ ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس دیز Fourteenth to thirty-two sentences of the Salim Ran, which is main topic is the final testament to all the persons, all the people that what is this testament. In previous lecture, we suggested you that at the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, when the Salim Ran was revealed during this period of. 622 to 624 ce period so we'll <coughs> study bismillah rahman rahim in the name of god who is gracious and helpful to us زجن للناس حب الشهابات من النساء والبنين والقناطير المقنطرة من الذهب والفضة والخيل المصومة والأنعام والحرث ذلك متاع الحياة الدنيا والله عنده حسن المعاب قل أو او نبئكم بخير من من ذلك للذين اتقوا عند ربهم جنات تجري من تحتها الانهار خالدين فيها وازواج مطهره ورضوان من الله والله بصير بالعباد persons who are suffering of this vision of the quran are tempted by the attraction of the world for example women children financial fund market horses great for example vehicles cattle and plantation etc all this is the enjoyment of this life but the great life is available for available for you only with god which god will give you in future inform them that shall i inform you what is better than these things for those persons who are careful about god there are gardens with their lord where canals will flow under your homes they shall dwell in them forever with chaste wives and the great player of god there is no doubt in the fact that god is watching his persons to give result of your performance so this is the main objective of this life that in this life is just as a test just as an example in this life only and this is only for some years only and definitely then death happens but then god will give us another life and in today's life if our performance is good then definitely god will give a lot of benefits and god has given only some <coughs> samples like great homes and canals and rivers and they will be in your control and you will enjoy with your life with your family you will enjoy and this life will be forever and whatever you will need immediately in a second you will get it so this is the materialism right now in our life 
God explained that this is only for this life only. That's it. But we should take care if we are careful to see God in future, then your our performance will be that we should do ethically good and avoid unethical activities and believe in god and then god will enter us in the paradise and some benefits as a sample are given to us but a lot of benefits will be available for all of us we will get it then god further explain alladhina yaquluna rabbana innana amanna waghfir lana dhunubana wa qina adhab an-nar الصابرين والصادقين والطاني والقانتين والمنفقين والمحص مستغفرين بالاسحار شهد الله انه لا اله الا هو الا هو والملائكه واول العلم قائما بالقسط لا اله الا هو العزيز الحكيم these who pray lord we have professed faith therefore please forgive us our sins and save us from the torment of the fire of hell these who are patient truthful obedient who spend in the way of god and who implore for forgiveness at the break of day day break of day which is the first day of in the hereafter god his angels and all the true knowledgeable persons in the world bear witness that there is no deity except one god how adheres to justice there is no deity but him who is mighty and wise so this is the main faith we should accept it and we should forgive us all the sins we should request to get rid of all the sins which are unethical activities we should avoid it and definitely we should become patient in this life truthful and then obedient persons of god we will enter into the paradise so this is the objective of our personality how we should improve us this is the topic then god further explain about that surrenderism to god how we can surrender to god God explain us in alladhina indallahi alislam wa ma akhtalafa alladhina utu alkitaba illa min ba'di ma jaa hum alilm baghyan bainahum wa man yakfur bi ayatillahi fa inna allaha sari'u alhisab fain hajjuka faqul faqul aslamtu wajhiya lillahi wa man ومن نتبع من اتبعني وكل الذين اوتوا الكتاب والاميين اسلمت فان اسلموا فقد اهتدوا وان تولوا فان ما عليك البلاغ والله بصير بالعباد if this is the fact then there is no doubt that the only religion is god's sight in islam because only in islam calls upon man to profess faith in god in this manner those persons to whom the god's book was given after the reality of this knowledge came to them from god disagreed among themselves in it merely because of mutual dispute this is open denial and those who deny 
God's revelations in this manner will not ex escape God's grasp, grasp because swift is God in taking accountability. O prophet, therefore, if they dispute with you, explain them. I and those who follow me have submitted to God. Ask the people of the God's book, Torah and Gospels and these unlettered persons as well. Ismailites, <laughs> do you also similarly submit to God? Then if they do it, they shall be rightly guided and if they turn away, your duty is only to communicate to them. God is watching over his persons. And based on that, God will give them result of their performance. So this is the mean life. And God has given us guidance. And what is Islam? Right now, Islam, we say this is the religion of some nations. So God explained that no, God means Islam means just to become surrendered to God. That's it. Islam meaning this one. If you do it, you will be successful life and you will enter into the paradise to enjoy forever. Unlimited life if you want to get it. So this is the main topic of God. Then God <clears throat> Further explain, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَكْفُرُونَ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ وَيَقْتُلُونَ النَّبِيِّينَ بِغَيْرِ حَقٍّ وَيَقْتُلُونَ الَّذِينَ يَأْمُرُونَ بِالْقِسْطِ مِنَ النَّاسِ وَبَشِّرْهُمْ بِعَذَابٍ أَلِيمٍ أُولَئِكَ الَّذِينَ حَبِطَتْ أَعْمَالُهُمْ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ وَمَا لَهُمْ مِنْ نَاصِرِينَ Alam tara ila alladhina utu nasibam min al-kitabi yudauna ila kitabillahi li yahkuma baynahum summa yatawalla fariqum minhum wa hum mu'ridun Therefore, give glad tidings of a woeful torment to those who have been denying God's revelations and trying to kill his prophets unjustly and also killing those among persons who would call people to adhere to justice. There are the ones whose deeds shall come to nothing in this world and in the world to come and now there shall be none to help them. Have you not seen those who have received the book of God? They are being called to the very book of God that it may decide the differences among them. Then one group among them turns away and in, in reality there are turn away. So all the persons who turn away from the book of God, which is the Quran, then definitely they'll have to go for the punishment. And in the history, God explained that some people trying to kill different prophets. For example, <clears throat> people tried to kill prophet Jesus and also Prophet Muhammad they tried it but God did not allow it to just kill them so they <clears throat> but they tried it so God explained that then they should be it is just 
a glad tidings for them to go to the hell just enjoy them in the fire of the hell if you want to do it god explain the wrong personality then god also the failure of personality development what you should not do god explain zalika bi annahum qalu lam tamassana an-naru illa ayyamam ma'dudatin wa gharrahum fi dinihim ma kanu yaftarun wa kayfa idha jama'nahum liyawmi la rayba fihi wa wufiyat kullu nafsin ma kasabat wa hum la yuzlamun qul allahumma malikal mulki tu'ti tu'ti mulka man tasha'u wa tanzi'u al mulka mim man tasha'u wa tu'izzu man tasha'u wa tun wa tuzillu man man tasha'u bi yadika al khair innaka ala kulli shay'in qadeer the reason of their attitude because they declare the hell of fire shall certainly never touch us except for a few days only the reason for this attitude in that things which they are fabricating which have deceived them and their followers in the matter of their religion but what will they do when we gather them all together for a day which is sure to come and in which every person will be fully given what it earned and no injustice will be faced by any one person their era has ended therefore now you should request lord the sovereign of all sovereignty you grant sovereignty to whom you want due to their attitude and take it away from whom you want due to their attitude you grant honor to whom so ever you want and humiliate humiliate whom so ever you want due to their attitude all good result is your hand indeed you have power over all things so this was the attitude of people in israelites what they did they tried to kill prophets and they their attitude was that there will be no punishment for us we can do anything and god explained that no god will give punishment to all the persons who will get such attitude and any person who believe in god did good ethical activities and work according to the sharia sharia is the law of god according to that then they will enter into the paradise so god has the main method and god does not give some nation become only benefits and no punishment no it will never happen god will give punishment to every person from any nation god explain us then god further explain tulju layla fin nahari wa tulju nahara fil layli wa tukhriju al hayya min al mayyiti wa tukhriju al mayyita min al hayyi wa tarzuqu man tasha'u bi ghayri hisab la yattakhidh al mu'minuna al kafirina awliya'a min dunil mu'minina 
ومن يفعل ذلك فليس من الله في شيء إلا أن تتقوا منهم تقاطوا ويحذركم الله نفسه وإلى الله المصير قل إن تخفوا ما في صدوركم أو تبدوه يعلمه يعلمه الله ويعلم ما في السماوات وما في الأرض والله على كل شيء قدير You make the night of change into the day and the day to change into the night You bring forth the living from the dead and bring for the dead from the living and you give unlimited sustenance to whom you want this is the decision of god and shall soon be imposed on the on in disbelievers of the quran therefore the believers don't make friends with these disbelievers leaving aside the muslims those who will do this the almighty will have nothing to do with them this warning is not in case you protect yourself from them the way it can be done best god alarms you for you of himself himself because you will have to return to god alone a prophet give warning to people that whatever is in your hearts whether you hide it or reveal it it is known to god he also knows whatever is between the universe and the earth and god has power over all things so we should be take care about our errors and god has explained us in detail that in the hereafter no group will enter into the paradise but it will be individually every person will see his or her get the result of this existing life what we do and what we avoid things so god will give us the result so what will happen and god has even for one second performance what we did god has recorded it in detail so take care of that then god further explain يوم تجد كل نفس ما عملت من خير محضرا وما عملت من سوء تود لو ان بينها وبينه امدا بعيدا ويحذركم الله نفسه والله رؤوف بالعباد قل ان كنتم تحبون الله فاتبعوني يحببكم الله ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم والله غفور رحيم قل اطيعوا الله والرسول فان تولوا فان الله لا يحب الكافرين دي ذا دي وين ايتش پرسن ويل بي كونفرنتد وذ وات ايفر جود هي اور شي ديد اند وات ايفر evil he or she did on that day it a long interval of time should stand between him or her and in this day this day will be the day of judgment this is the counsel of god because god give warning for you of his or her performance but god is come passionate towards his people a prophet inform them if you love god follow me god will love you and forgive your 
sins because God is forgiving and ever merciful. Further inform, inform them that obey God and his prophet then even if after this they turn away tell them that God does not like such disbelievers. So here just I shared an example of this the balance sheet you can prepare for yourself. These are your assets which are whatever ethical activities you have done. Let's suppose if your assets are around 1 million ethical activities you did it in this life and liabilities are your sins, unethical activities done it, these are suppose 200,000. So you will minus it, you will get it 800,000 profit. Or it is also possible we our ethical activities are 100,000 but we did a long error we have did it these are the unethical activities we did it which are around 2 million so now you divide so this will be our loss 1.9 million losses we will be able to get it so here I will suggest you that please calculate based on your life that what you have did in the ethical activities what unethical activities and calculate it this will be your balance sheet but right now enough time is available that we will request God that God please forgive us and that's it our all the liabilities will be deleted and only our assets will be there and God's will multiply our good assets because God forgive us and ever merciful because whatever assets we will get in the ethics we will it God will multiply automatically as a result of that so this will be the result of this life so please whatever your questions right now available please feel free to ask me through the emails thank you very much thanks a lot wassalamu alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.